What we try to do is balance things, uh, but we have to take action. Meanwhile, a curfew balancing act today. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine announcing a 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. curfew set to take effect starting Thursday night. And this all comes with a few things you should really know about. You really should. WCPO 9 News reporter Jake Ryle explains several exceptions to the curfew and how it will impact life moving forward. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine's announcement for a statewide curfew comes with several questions, so we're breaking down a few of those to help you understand better. The word of the day, balance. What I had to do is balance that, the bad things that could happen with what would be the positive things that would happen. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine announcing a curfew from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. for 21 days starting Thursday. I'm sure people are saying, well, what, what all does that mean? Restaurants will shut down in-person sales at 10, but can continue carry out delivery and drive through options. And that's a win for Ohio Restaurant Association President John Barker. We can allow Ohioans to do their part without having what we thought would be an immediate and disastrous impact on restaurants and thousands of employees. People can venture out after 10 for health and safety, a trip to the pharmacy, the grocery store, or to walk your dog. So is it a stay at home order? It's gonna be similar. I mean, we're calling it a curfew. We think a curfew probably describes it at best. No, you won't be pulled over for driving in Ohio after 10 p.m. The aim at limiting larger gatherings. It would be logical for police to go over there and say, hey, what's going on? Local law enforcement will enforce the curfew and it's expected they'll first ask folks to comply and go home. And the order has support. We tested this uh, idea of the curfew with the business community and the hospital community, uh, the health community. And they all thought this was a was a reasonable compromise to get there uh, to find that balance. And if it doesn't work, Governor Mike DeWine's press secretary, Dan Tierney, tells WCPO 9 News the governor isn't going to limit his options. Let's do what we need to do and we'll evaluate it after 21 days. Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News.